the researchers ran two large scale experiments where people chatted simultaneously with a human and AI for five minutes, then guessed which was which. And the standout was GPT 4.5. When it was prompted to act like a shy slang using young person, it was picked as a human 73% of the time, more often than the actual humans it was up against. Meta's llama model also fooled participants while older systems like GPT-40 were reliably flagged as bots. Interestingly here, the difference that really made all the difference was prompting. Without specific instructions on how to act human, the AI win rates dropped. But even then, some did still match human performance. So this is definitely interesting because Turing test is this kind of legendary thing in AI. We obviously always have to take any claims about all this with a grain of salt. The researchers themselves admit that there's still a lot that's unclear about what this could actually mean and how much it matters in terms of making a judgment call about the level of intelligence being exhibited here. But I think in a practical sense, it is really striking that we have some good evidence now that today's AI prompted in the right way can be basically indistinguishable from a human in certain types of conversation. Yeah. And I, I think that the whole part about prompting it to act like a human, yeah. that's not hard. <laughs> I mean, you can make that instruction choice in the system prompt. You could yeah. have a company, it could be a startup that builds on top of an open source model that chooses to make a very human-like chatbot. And out of the box, the thing feels more human than human. We've talked about it on the show many times about like empathy and I used to think a uniquely human trait that I'm convinced is not anymore, or at least the ability to simulate empathy. 